Ryan Slocum, we check out the nightcap of championship weekend, the Division VI title game between the Springfield Tigers and the Coldwater Cavaliers. Both teams have unblemished records heading into the final game of 2020, so something had to give. Coldwater looking for its first state title since 2015, and they get it going on their first possession. Miles Blazing Game finds Zach McKibben streaking down the middle of the field. Perfect pass in route to a 59-yard score. Cavaliers up seven. The Tigers answer right back with a big play of their own. QB Bo Brungard tosses it up for Nick Slyke. He runs right under it and he heads in for the 46-yard touchdown and they were tied at seven after one. Brungard goes it alone two minutes into the second. Just on the Cavalier side of midfield, he runs up the middle, spins out of a tackle and takes it up the sideline. No one able to catch him. 44 yards to the crib. The Tigers take the lead 14-7. Coldwater responds six minutes later. Blazing game hits McKibben leaking out of the backfield for the five yard touch. And we are tied back up at 14. Then just before the half, Coldwater does it again. Blazing game punches it in from a yard out. The Cavs went into halftime up 21-14. Both QBs led their team in rushing yards, and Brungard topped them all with 261 yards on the ground. He picks up 42 of them right here and is gone. They are tied again at 21. The heavyweight fight continues just four plays later. Blazing Game takes it right up the middle, cuts to the far sideline, and hits the gas. 53 yards, Coldwater now in front, 28-21 after three. And the fourth turned into the Bo Brungard show. Four minutes left, he takes it around the left side, a quick cut up the middle, and that's an 18-yard score to lock it up again at 28 apiece. They would get the ball back just over a minute later. And on the first play of the drive, Brungard bounces outside, no one will catch him. Just under three minutes to go, and Springfield is up 35-28. But you can't count out Coldwater and Blazing Game. He goes back to the air and delivers a strike to Tyler Schweiderman. That's a 36-yard touch, and we were tied up yet again at 35. Looking like this one's going to go to overtime, but Zach McKibben has other ideas. He takes the punt at his own 20, makes a couple of guys miss, cuts all the way back across the field, and is finally pushed out of bounds at around the 10. And with enough time for one play, Brady Klingshern comes out for a 26-yard field goal. This one is up, and it is good. Coldwater wins it in dramatic fashion, 38-35 over Springfield to win their seventh state championship.